Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Joe Cray for Abu X, and today we got a Dragon Ball Fighter Z video. Now, this game isn't released until um, the next week, well, the week after next week, which kind of sucks because this beta got me hyped, and I could only obtain so much gameplay due to limitations in the beta, such as actually finding matches and stuff like that. Like, this beta was terrible, but other than that, I'm loving the vibe that I'm getting from this game. I'm loving the feel of this game. And it it takes me back to like um, Super Dragon Ball Z. I don't know how many people actually played that on the PS2 back in the day. But it feels like that. The animation seems similar to that. And I, I love it. And it also gives me a... Um, what was that? That one Dragon Ball Z game. It, it gives me a, um, a feel of that. It gives me a reminiscent feeling of kind of like Dragon Ball Burst Land. I... I like literally had a brain fart and had to think about that but this game is very reminiscent to that it feels like a culmination of all the tenkaiji games information from those developing into like the perfect fighting dragon ball z game now i don't know how the latency and the um, net code is going to be for this game so i can't say how perfect the online will be but for us like like uh player versus player combat like if you're at your friend's house or something this game is going to be great and it's it's Skill is gonna play a huge role in this game. Now, if you practice at this game, I promise you, you could be a monster. Now, I haven't had much practice other than going through the tutorial and stuff, and I can see where my shortcomings were when I reviewed a lot of these um, clips. So, going into this game, I tried to fill out my opponent, see how they were gonna play, like what their tactic was, what their play style was gonna be. Most people play fairly similar. They, in the beginning of the match, they take a step back. They kind of, I guess, let me rush in, but my tactic was to take a step back as well to see what they were gonna do. And once I see, okay, they're not gonna rush me, fuck it, I'll rush them. When I rush them, my attacks are relentless. I'm not gonna stop, like, it's continuous. And I'm gonna lead it into something big, or at least I'm gonna try to, or I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to start it off with something big, which is what I did a few times in this game. Now, I noticed that I'm getting a lot better at blocking. <laughs> Originally, yo, when I play fighting games, I never blocked, and it just cost me so many L's. But I realized in this game, I'm blocking a lot, which is good. I'm, um, I'm taking advantage of when people guard to use the, um, what is it called? Z dash or whatever, when you put them in a little quick combo. And I think it's a 23 hit combo, but taking advantage of those and I see a lot of progression coming from myself in, in fighting games. Now, I've been playing Mortal Kombat a little bit recently, and that could have something to do with it. But it, this game, I played against this uh, Rebel Z guy twice, and he really wasn't much of a match for me. I even slowed off on my play style. Like, I can say I toned it down a bit, and he still couldn't really do anything to it. I don't know. I don't know what he had going on. But I wasn't trying hard at all. Like, in no instance was I, like, just bent on dead serious. I was just chilling, playing, and this guy, really, he, he couldn't do much to me. You'll see that he, he managed to take out my Frieza, but, like I said, I believe Frieza's kind of like a, a heavy hitter type character. He's like a glass cannon. He can do damage, but he takes a lot more damage. It seems that way to me. I don't know for sure. I would have to see like a stat sheet or something. I'm sure Namco Bandai may have one for the beta characters on probably their Twitter or something. I'll find it, post it in the description so you guys can see. But I didn't get a chance to go Golden Frieza in any of my matches, which really bumped me out. I mean, I'm still currently searching for matches to get more content, but I never got a chance to go Golden Frieza, so I don't know how his damage is in that mode or what his defense is like in that mode. But from what I've seen, Freeze is pretty. He, he can dish it out, but he can't really handle too much of it. And you'll see in this video, this guy managed to get me trapped in a corner. Now, that pissed me off because it, it, it just annoyed me to no end. I hate being corner trapped. And in this game, it's kind of difficult to get out of it. But when, once you do get out of it, well, once I got out, I maximized that opportunity to um, use my sparking burst, which is this red aura that appears around your character and restores your health throughout the course of the battle. As long as you have some of that blue bar left, it'll recover all that in um, in a time frame. So, in a sense, you're kind of invincible, kind of-ish. I wouldn't go as far as to say, like, you just, you're a tank now, but you can take a lot more damage and you do a lot more damage. Which is good, especially if you're trying to make a combat. Let's say you're on your last character and 
you make the move to use your spark and burst that's the best time because again it heals you and it allows you to um, dish out more damage while it's activated and I thought I had found the match but the person yeah, they, they canceled it but whatever now on to the second part of this fight now again I'm learning these characters this so far is my favorite team you have Gohan who's just a monster of a character you have Perfect Cell who's also a very wide range in terms of like fighting style Cell is probably the most all around that I've played with so far he has um, close quarter techniques such as his um, energy barrier so if an opponent rushes you and you activate that that's damage uh, if you finish his wide combo strain it, it finishes with the energy barrier so that's another one it's sales and he has a kamehameha i don't know what his uh his basic like one bar one meter like super attacks are because i can't check um their skill list or a move set or whatever during the match I mean, i'm online so it would be kind of stupid on my part to try that anyway so i just had to kind of learn what was what and yeah i mean i i love cell i love cell because like i said he's an all-around character i feel very confident when i switch to him versus when i switch maybe to freeza or something if i'm gonna use freeza i feel like i have to be aggressive with him and I have to use his Y string combo or his Y X string combo because that's when I do the most damage with him. And if I can end the Y string combo and finish it off with the death ball, that's a nice way to finish an opponent, which I like, as you'll see right now. And I just took, well, I didn't take Gohan all the way out, but it had the potential to finish Gohan off. Had I like uh, meter burned it a little bit, I still don't know how to do that yet. So I'm going to get there. But I'm progressing a lot with this game. And as you can see, he barely did any damage to Frieza. And Frieza's probably the character I'm worse with out of everybody on this team. Gohan, I'm a beast with. Cell, I can hold my own with. I'm still, I still gotta learn him. But this, this game is really exciting for me because I've never really took fighting games too serious. I, I've bought them, but never played them seriously. And I, I feel like I'll be taking this game very serious. Um... But I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, it was your boy Joker 850X. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take off.